Before we get into this video, guys, I just want to announce again that my live streams are now held on Twitch, not YouTube. So lots of you may know I used to stream daily on YouTube, but we've had to move over to Twitch now, unfortunately, because it's completely ruined the views that I get on YouTube. If I don't see an improvement on Twitch, we're going to move back to YouTube anyway, but for the time being, follow my Twitch. It's in the description. We do daily live streams. We'll be doing one today and tomorrow. So yeah, go follow me on Twitch, boys. How's it going, everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Going to have a little bit of an informational video for you all today about the new update which is coming in the next couple of weeks. Now, I've seen a couple of other people do videos on this, but I want to do my own because I feel like there's still some of my subscribers which won't know that this update's coming, and it's, to be honest, it's a pretty good one. It's update number three, and it is called the Horizon Service Check. It's worth noting that I don't believe we know what day this update is coming out just yet. However, I'm predicting that it's going to be around the 20th to the 23rd of November. Today it is the 7th, tomorrow it is going to be the 8th, and that is when we turn to winter. And then a week after that we'll turn to spring on the 15th. So a week after that, when we start again, and around the 22nd-ish, that's when I believe this update may be released. But let's take a look at what this update has. The first thing is called a Horizon Service Check. Now, this isn't actually a feature, but I'm going to read this out for you now. Regular service checks are key to keeping any machine running at peak performance. This update is the first Horizon Service Check and includes a slew of improvements to the game on community feedback. Future service checks will address new issues as well as anything that didn't make it into this update. So what they're basically saying here is they're kind of filling up a spot. This isn't actually a feature or anything, but what they're saying is in this new update, they're fixing quite a lot of things based on the community's feedback. Now, I believe that in this update, we're going to have even more car sounds fixed. Now, this is a complete guess at this point, but however, one of the main things that people are still complaining about are the car sounds. So honest, in my true opinion, I believe in the next couple of weeks when we get this service check update, I think some of the car sounds are going to be improved again. And maybe the online lobbies will be fixed as well, because the, the Horizon convoys are just terrible online. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's good that they're pushing and improving the game based on the community feedback that we give them. It's good. Looking forward to it. Now, the second thing, this is probably the thing that people are most excited for. There are more painting and upgrade options coming. It is the following. New advanced car painting options have been added to a number of cars, allowing you to paint subgroups more easily. This includes the ability to paint subsections of wheel rims. This update also adds 41 new wheel rims for 22 brands, all of which can be found in the auto show. So obviously the main thing that this means is we're getting over 40 new wheel rims um, for the cars in Forza Horizon 4, and that's quite a lot. 40 rims is a big amount. And along with that, it seems that we're going to be able to paint um, subsections of the rims separately. That's what it seems like anyway. So to basically put it short, we're getting more rims added, we're getting more painting options for the rims, instead of just, for example, being able to paint them red or blue. We'll maybe be able to mix them up or something. We'll have to see. But it seems like they're cracking down and giving us some more in-depth, advanced painting options for rims and the cars in general. Now, I want to make this part clear. What it says is new advanced car painting options have been added to a number of cars, allowing you to paint subgroups more easily. And then it says this includes the ability to paint subsections of wheel rims. So what it's saying is one of the new features is going to be the ability to paint subsections of wheel rims. It does say that there's more advanced car painting options allowing us to paint subgroups. It then says that this isn't only the ability to paint subsections. So what I'm trying to say here is there may be more new advanced car painting options that aren't just to do with the subsections of rims. So I don't know what this means, but I, I'm predicting that there's going to be a lot more advanced car painting options other than just the new rim things. The third thing is new seasonal events. Now, not many people care about this, but I, I do, to be honest. This reads, the Horizon Festival challenges you to win 12 seasonal championships with a prize pool of up to 3.6 million credits. For each event, you must carefully choose your car and upgrade your car and compete against your avatars or the players to win. So we're getting more seasonal events, lots of big rewards. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be cool. And the last thing, we get kind of a breakdown of the new specific things that are going to be added. For example, we've got the 12 new seasonal events, We've got a new monthly rivals event, four new exclusive cars. Now, we don't know what that is yet, 
So we're going to wait and see. We're going to have new Forzathon shop and stock exclusives, which is pretty cool. Everyone loves a good thing in a Forzathon shop. And we're also getting eight new cars for the car pass owners, which we don't know what they are yet, which is pretty cool. So that's the update, which will be coming out in a couple of weeks. I'm looking forward to it because I don't do much painting myself. However, it's going to be pretty cool to have some more rims to choose from and stuff like that. And I'm hoping that they've also changed some car sounds. While we're here, I'm going to quickly talk about what we can see within the next week and also two weeks before this update, because not many people know about this either. The day, that you're, the day that this video is released is the 7th of November, and from the 8th of November, it's going to be winter. So from the 8th of November onwards to around the 15th of November, we are going to get two new seasonal events, one new trial event, and one new danger sign challenge. I'm looking forward to the danger sign challenge, because that might give us a super wheel spin just for doing that. Obviously, we're going to get some new weekly and new daily challenges. We're going to get a community choice car for the Forzathon shops. That would be interesting. So tomorrow, 8th of November, there could be a pretty good car in the Forzathon shop. And then we're obviously going to get two new cars for car pass owners, which I believe is the Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglioleo and the Maverick 2018 off-road kind of buggy, I think. I think that's what's coming tomorrow, so that's pretty cool. So we've got that for a week, and then the week after, so around the 15th of November... We're going to get two new seasonal events, a trial event, a drift zone challenge, which is going to be interesting. New challenges, a new exclusive car for the Forzathon shop. So this car I'm in right here, the Hoonicorn, we're going to get a Hoonicorn V2 in the Forzathon shop, which is going to be very cool. Now, I don't actually believe that is a new car. I still think it's this one, but with a new paint job. However, they might release it as a separate car with maybe a couple more engine upgrades. We're not sure yet, but... In a couple of weeks, we're going to have access to the Hoonicorn V2 in the Forzathon shop. And then obviously along with that, we're getting two new car pass cars. One of it is the Vauxhall VX220, which is a cool car, and I don't remember the other one. But if you've got the car pass, you can go and look what it is now anyway. So yeah guys, that is what we have coming within the next couple of weeks when it comes to the updates and the seasonal changes which are coming as well. So to put it short, the update in a couple of weeks, loads of bug fixes, loads of new additions, we've got loads of new painting, advanced car options, loads of new rims, some new challenges, some new cars, it's going to be pretty cool. Let me know what you think on this update, let me know what you're expecting and what you're most excited for. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you ladies in the next video.